Like when you when you're saying this, like when you were so adamant about it, I had to start reading about it myself, and I had to start doing a lot of research about it myself. And I think most people hear Marxism and they think socialism. Yeah. They think uh, pooling all your money together. Mm -hmm. You know, making you know making things more even for people. Yeah, like That's they are in, in Venezuela. Everybody has an equal chance to starve to death. So you know how they you know how the Venezuelan government start solved the problem of kids starving to death in hospitals how they made it illegal for the doctors to report starvation as the cause of death this is Karl Marx and he basically uh, in his life wrote this communist manifesto and I'm going to show you um, what communist is about the principles are basically abolition of property in land and application of all rents of land to public purposes, a heavy progressive or graduated income tax, abolition of all right of inheritance, confiscation of the property of all emig emig immigrants and rebels, centralization of credit in the hands of the state by means of a national bank with a state capital and an exclusive monopoly. Another famous quote is, religion is the opium of the masses. He basically argued that if you are a religion, if you have a religion, you are basically an oppressed creature because you're superstitious. And basically he just says, religion is the impotence of the human mind to deal with occurrences it cannot understand. This is a very famous uh, piece of art that they use to classify how capitalism works. And yes, this is basically was used while they were trying to promote, uh, you know, communism. For example, North Korea, um, if you also go to the, re the re religion, they are um, atheists because they believe the state is the one that has all the power. Cuba, even though they have the religions here, there's not, you know, and look what it says here, government, unitarian, Marxist, Leninist, one-party socialist republic. Let's think about that. Now, he does have the theory of alienation, which talks about how uh, humans can lose the meaning of life with being a capitalist society, which, um, you know, that has made him very prominent into the political science area. I hope you found this interesting because it's important. It's a small book you can buy on Amazon. You have to read about Adam Smith. You have to read about Karl Marx, very important figures, and their words are out there. So they're haunting us, <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs>